What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over some of my favorite lures and tackle, which is kind of anything to get you guys ready for the pre-spawn. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, first lure I want to talk about is the square bill crankbait. Um, so this lure is, I mean this lure crushes fish in the pre-spawn mode and really any time of year. Square bill is hands down one of my favorite lures to throw, especially this time of year. Um, so when pre-spawn happens, the fish start thinking about spawning, um, so then they want to eat, you know, they want to eat and stock up on food a lot before the spawn. So, you know, they'll be out hunting little, you know, bait just like this and really any color works good but my all-time favorite color is the uh, electric craw color which is kind of like a bright flashy color it gets their attention and a lot of times the fish won't even eat the lure because they're hungry a lot of times they'll eat it because you know it's just it's swimming right by them and it's just ticking them off and they see it and they're just like they just want that away from them so they just um, you know attack it because they're such mean fish so um, yeah a lot of times that's another reason that the bass will eat any kind of lure like that but yeah definitely my first lure is definitely the square bill y'all should definitely throw these um, really any time of the year but especially pre-spawn okay another lure i want to talk about is the spinner bait this is also one of my favorite lures to throw i just love throwing the spinner bait and especially the bite that you get from a spinner bait is always so much fun but uh, yeah this is definitely my favorite color too this is the guggen squad zinger sexy shad color this catch i have i can't even tell you how many fish i've caught on this lure and um, it just works so well. It, um, so hence the name, shad. It, it represents you know a shad, bait fish, or whatever. Um, and this time of year, like I was saying, the bass will you know be stocking up on food. They'll be getting hungry before the spawn. So this is just a great thing to throw. Um, so yeah, this is really. And you can work this lure. You can work this lure any depth too. You can work it up shallow. You can work it deep. Just kind of wherever the fish are uh, hanging out. Or if the fish are suspended. Work it wherever they're suspended at. So if they're suspended like 20 feet deep. Just let it sink and then start reeling it in. It'll be at the depth that you want it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's definitely another fantastic lure for the pre-spawn. All right, y'all, another amazing lure that I want to talk about is the bandito bug. I mean, everyone knows that the bandito bug is a lure that works literally no matter where you are, no matter what time of year it is. The bandito bug always comes through. And I mean, let me just tell you guys something. The Okeechobee craw color is, I mean, that's just where it's at. I mean, a lot of people like natural or baby blue, but my personal favorite is Okeechobee Craw. You've got the nice blue on the front and then, or on the top, and then on the belly, you got the green, and it's just an amazing lure. And I mean, you can, I mean, I, I always do Texas rig, but you can Carolina rig it. You can, you know, weightless Texas rig, but I def, I do Texas, I do usually do weighted Texas rig in the pre-spawn. Um, you can use this for when you're actually bed fishing too. So like, I'll use a weighted, uh, Texas rig this bad boy and you know when I see a fish, you know like up shallow like guarding a bed or whatever Flip this to him. I mean game over. These are a little bit pricey um, Guggen baits are, are pricier in general, but it's worth the price because they work so well But uh, yeah, definitely lure number three bandito bug All right y'all the final lure I want to talk about is the jerk bait this lure is almost better for react is it, it is better sorry it is better for reaction strikes than this it's it, you get more reaction strikes out of this lure than any other lure out there um so if for those of you who who are new to fishing and are, aren't familiar with the jerk bait basically you basically just work this lure you cast it and just give it hence the name jerk bait you just give it jerks rip it um and give it a you know nice paw twitch pause motion and the fish just absolutely love it. That's really all I can say about them is just how well they work. I mean, you just you guys have to start throwing these during the pre-spawn and really any time of year, they work all year round, especially pre-spawn. So yeah, if you're not already, y'all definitely need to consider throwing this. It's, it's a must have in your tackle box. All right, y'all, so those are all the lures that I'm gonna talk about. But now I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite rod and reel combos that I use for pre-spawn fishing. Really, it's good for anything. It is the Mega Bass, sorry, not Mega Bass, the St. Croix Bass X rod. This is a, this is a seven foot two, medium heavy, fast action. Um, so this, the, the tip is super, super fast. So what it means, what fast action means is when you set the hook, the rod bends quicker, basically up here, instead of down, more down here, it bends more concentrated towards the top. 
yeah, that's what fast action means. So this is like I said, this is seven foot two medium heavy fast action. So the seven foot two is a great all around length for anything, um, and then the heavy, medium heavy is just a good, good to have that backbone for setting the hook in the fish, especially for bed fishing. Um, and yeah, and seven foot two is a good rod, like I said, for bed fishing, and it's also a good, good crankbait length, good jerk bait length. It's just kind of an all around fantastic rod that uh, I, I just love so much. And then the, I just have like an Apple Garcia reel on there. It's not really anything, but so yeah, if I were you guys, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these St. Croix Bass X. They are a little bit pricey, but it, it, they're worth it. They work, um, they work really well, really with, like I said, really with anything you're throwing. So yeah, so um, so that's basically my my all-time favorite rod for this time um, for this time of year. But uh, yeah, so now uh, before we go, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about where the fish go during pre-spawn and how you can best catch them. So. Um, depending on what lures you're using, obviously, like if you're using a um, like bandito, Texas rig bandito bug, you're going to want to fish up shallow around structure. Um, and you can really, what I like to do when I, when I fish these is look for the fish. So before just blind casting, blind casting works and it's, it's fine, but with the bandito bug, especially during this time of year, you want to be able to see those fish. And so you can flip to them and see if you can get them to, you know, get a reaction strike out of them or just whatever. But if you're using like a spinner bait or crank bait, like any kind of moving bait, um, throw so you can throw towards suspended fish away from the structure like maybe hor like horizontal with the land or whatever um, but a lot of time but I like to throw I like to throw square bill up shallow back in coves roll it over structure near structure by structure so basically the main takeaway is you need to be fishing structure this time of year um, water temperature is another big thing the, you, want, you want the water to be in the upper the upper 50s low 60s um, Basically the, basically the warmer the water, the better. So yeah, all the fish uh, this time of year are gonna be pushing up shallow. Um, the females will come a little bit later, a couple of weeks after the males come up. But um, right now it's late March. It's about to be, it's gonna be April in like a few days here. So um, the males are definitely up shallow. The females should be headed that way. So yeah, basically just this time of year, just fish shallow, fish structure, and then look for that upper 50s to low 60s, um, mid, you know, even mid 60s water temperature. But uh, yeah, that's all I got time for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, hope you learned something. I uh, hope you guys can get out there and catch more fish. But yeah, for now, that's all I got time for. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop a like on this video. Until now, see you guys on the next episode.